I get to our big eye today, it is not, uh, it's hard to see damage like uh, this and wonder how anyone could survive. What if there was a tsunami shelter? When a tsunami comes, it's almost impossible to get away from it. What if there was somewhere safe to go as soon as the warning sounds, because you don't get a lot of time, something that could stand up to the massive destructive waves? Well, there actually is one U.S. patented system. You're looking at it. Looks like a big red capsule of sorts. It's called the STATIM shelter. STATIM, S-T-A-T-I-M, is an acronym for storm, tornado, and tsunami interconnected modules. This thing can withstand a tsunami or a tornado. It's made of concrete and rebar, which allows the shelter to withstand the initial forces of the storm and float on the water. Let's look at this in the case of uh, a tsunami. What would happen? You see, the tsunami wave comes, you get into this thing, the wave actually picks it up. It can float, even though it's concrete and rebar, it floats, but it's tethered and it stays in place. It floats above the water. It's a lifeboat, basically, uh, of sorts. Here's a computer rendering I want to show you of the statum after the storm hits. Take a look at this. It's, it floats on top of the water. I want to talk to Miguel Serrano. He's the inventor of this system. He joins me live from San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is remarkable if it were to work. First of all, how many people can get inside one of these units? Uh, it's designed for approximately between 50 to 70 people. Uh, from from f 50, 7 to 15 people? 50 to 70 people. 50 to 70, 5 zero to 7 zero people. Yes, it, it's of considerable size uh, with enough capacity to serve uh, a large area. And the idea is to have them uh, spread in a way that everybody has a, a chance to access one within a reasonable amount of time, uh, basically responding to visual cues of tsunamis in places maybe where the warning doesn't reach uh, or there is, isn't any warning, remote places. Have you, you, have you been able to try something like this out? I know there's a patent for it. It's not manufactured yet. Is that correct? That's correct. We're working on initiating the research and development and prototyping. But I can tell you that since the 1850s, a French inventor uh, has been working with concrete boats and ships, actually, the U.S. in World War I commissioned uh, an emergency fleet made completely out of concrete. Also, MIT ha holds uh, competitions on cement canoes. So this is basically old technology put uh, to a better use in order to get a resource that's cheap and economical so it's implementable in, in, in mass volume. I'm looking, we're looking at a picture right now that shows them in, uh, interconnecting. You call them interconnected. They look like capsules, but can they be connected? Yes, the thing is that uh, in order for make it feasible, uh, they, they have to be constructed uh, in mass. So it cannot be done monolithically, one piece. You have to break it up so you can apply mass production techniques. And then you can transport it using conventional transportation means, trucks, railroad, barges, and you can reach final destination, even remote places. And at the last moment, you align them, join them, and using a post-tensioning cable technique, Within minutes, uh, you should have a, a hole already uh, built and sealed. Then it's a matter of installing accessories, ventilation, seating, and GPS interlink supplies. So it, it should work. And how long? Can, how, and how long can people, if they go in there, how long can they last in there? The supplies should last for seven days. Uh, it would tend to situations like the ones lived after this type of events where you have a uh, few resources to tend uh, to resupply people and to communicate with them and prioritize rescue. All right, this is excellent. Uh, very interesting stuff. Thanks very much for joining us uh, about it. Miguel Serrano is the inventor of the Statum Shelter System. I've been reading about this fantastic, fantastic stuff. Uh, if you want more information on the Tsunami Shelter, which is, uh, you know, hopefully in development soon, go to my blog, cnn.com slash Ali, and I'll link you.